Uh, I got one for, I can't, I, I can't read it in French, but I got one for making a sound in public and one for, let's see if I can find it here, the swearing in the park one. You got to take it for swearing in the park. How yeah, much here it is. Um, that was $146 for saying a swear word in Emily Gamelin. Um, so there's that one. I got one for making noise during a manifestation. Um, I think that one was 434. Yeah, 434 for, I think this is it, for making an audible noise during a manifestation. Like there's a lot of really ridiculous tickets, ashing a cigarette, like ashing my cigarette on the ground, uh, jaywalking during a manifestation. We're talking 30,000 people in the street walking on the road and, and they're still giving jaywalking tickets. Like it just seemed really inappropriate. Were any of these for breaking something, for, for doing anything violent, for resisting no. arrest, for assault? No I, no, I have no charges against me, no accusations against me. I've never resisted arrest if they put me under arrest. I'm pretty cooperative. So at the beginning, everything was pretty cool. I think it was, I mean, I was, my behavior was different, obviously, because I was new. I have never experienced what Montreal riot police were like. So I was a little bit more cautious, um, but toward the summertime was when things started to get more intimidating, I guess, or, or more violent with me personally. Um, and that's kind of when the police started targeting. I think it was because um, the manifestations at night grew a little bit smaller and the police started targeting specific people. Um, so like we started recognizing them and them recognizing us and I think once the repression started happening with all the tickets that they just started remembering things. Like now if I get a ticket, I don't even have to give my ID. They know my address right off by heart. Like it's just come to a point where it's too familiar for like the things that they're remembering and how they recognize me on the street. Like I used to have really long hair and I had to cut it to try and not be recognized as much and, and even that didn't work, right? So in this pile, I think we have about 6,500, maybe almost, yeah, 6,500. Um, there's still a few more that are being mailed out to me. So there's a 500.1 or P6. So they're between 500 to 600 dollars. So once those come in, I think I'm going to have right over seven grand, and I'm going to contest all of them. These are already all contested, just waiting dates. I'm really afraid because I don't know which cop it is, like. If I'm walking downtown or if I'm walking in St. Henri, or if I'm walking where I live, you know, and I see a cop car, the first thing I think is what, what's the number? Like I've, I've learned that certain cops drive certain car numbers and if it's a number I recognize then I try and leave that area because I don't know what they're going to do or what's going to happen to me. I've, I've just become really intimidated when they're around, I've become really fearful of, of my safety.